Hey friends, Doug Addison here. I have a special prophetic release on the coronavirus. And, you know, we've been under this horrific global attack and I've been waiting on the Lord and praying daily over this. And then on February 25th, 2020, the Lord showed me the root cause of the attack and also a prayer strategy on how to break it. So I want to explain a, th a few things first. First of all, this is a global attack. So that's showing that the results that God wants to bring is global. And the enemy's playing against that. Isaiah 59, 19 says that when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall raise up a standard against him. Well, the enemy is flooding this attack right now globally, trying to bring fear. It's trying to d delay the revival. There's an outpouring that's going to be global. Many prophets are prophesying, including myself, over this outpouring that's coming. Refreshment. That's the prophetic words I've been releasing about this time of refreshment that's here. And the enemy came back, uh, you know, against what God's doing with this global attack. But God is raising up the new standard against it. First of all, let me explain something about the three chord attacks that I've been seeing, Ecclesiastes 4.12, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. There's a power when we come together. There's a power in the Lord when we come together and agree in prayer. Jesus said, if two or more agree together, it shall be done. Well, this is a biblical principle. Quite often, Satan will use those things. He will use... Uh, biblical principles and things like that and distort them and counterfeit them. And he's been using a series of three court attacks against us. I've been seeing this uh, since 2018. I've been releasing some words and, and training on how to break these attacks because they are a little bit more, uh, you know, higher level. Once you recognize a three court attack, you can then bind and break the combined attack and if you try to break the individual uh, powers, principalities, or demons, they are not usually able to go because they're in uh, what would be very similar to uh, a, an unholy alliance. You'll find that in Daniel chapter 10, where the kings came together as an unholy alliance. That's what it's very similar to that, just so you can understand this. So Matthew 18, 18, Jesus said, whatever you bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. This is a three-chord attack. The coronavirus is global. This shows that the Lord is about to release something global, and therefore the enemy has come in like a flood ahead of time and trying to stop it. And, uh, and so Isaiah 14, 29 is the source that the Lord showed me on February 25th of what the coronavirus source is. It's, th it's a three-chord found. Uh, and it says, uh, do not rejoice, all you Philistines, uh, that the rod that struck you is broken. For the root of that rod will spring a snake, and from that a viper, and then the fruit will be darting a venomous serpent. So we see three things here. We see that there's a root. First of all, there's a rod and an attack. The Philistines uh, were the enemy, uh, you know, of the, of the uh, Israelites and of the Lord. And so this represents an attack of the enemy, and they are, uh, the enemy is st striking with a rod, and it contains a snake, which often represents deception. Also, from that will spring up a viper. Now, a vipers are, are really high-level religious spirits. We see Jesus calling the Pharisees a brood of vipers. So we have a high-level religious spirit going on that uh, that is not of the Lord. And then out of that will be the darting venomous serpent. The venomous serpent is actually the coronavirus. So uh, it's an attack of the enemy, of deception, a very high-level religious spirit that's getting people to speak against each other and different things like that. I mean, there's stuff going on in the deeper level here. But just so you understand the attack, 
It's the three things, the, the snake of deception, the viper of the religious spirit, and the venomous serpent of the coronavirus. And so the Lord told me this, to break this, and how we can break it. I'm going to pray a prayer that the Lord showed me. I want you to pray along and get as many people as you can praying this because it is global. And so we're going to bind it and we're going to break its attack and then uh, there'll be some things that we can do after this. But right now, let's just come into agreement together. Lord, we bind the snake of deception, the viper of the religious spirit and the venomous serpent of the coronavirus. And we break its global unholy alliance, its three-chord attack. We break that attack and stop this, Lord, from pouring out globally against revival. Lord, we ask that you cast out the attack of the snake of deception, the viper of the religious spirit, and the venom of the, relig- of the venomous serpent of the coronavirus. We, we ask you, Lord, that you would stop this epidemic, this global ec- epidemic, we ask, Lord, to bring healing to those who've been infected. We proclaim full authority over this virus and the associated attacks of illness, death, of deception, of the, uh, uh, you know, even the religious spirit being involved. Uh, to and and, and um, we just ask now, Lord, according to Isaiah fourteen twenty nine, it says that the rod that struck you is broken. Satan has struck the earth and with this rod. And we say now, according to Isaiah 14, 29, that it's going to be broken. The coronavirus attack be broken now. And we ask, Lord, that you would break the rod of the attack, that you, Lord, would cast out these three things that have been coming against revival and against your move that's coming on the earth right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, the best way to respond is to do not be afraid. Be wise, of course. Uh, Pray and cry out to the Lord that his will would be done. I've been releasing prophetic words about uh, refreshments, and I saw these refreshment watering holes of the Spirit opening up in in, uh, January, February, and March. And then suddenly, uh, you know, there, there's other prophets prophesying about the revival coming. And then here comes this coronavirus causing people to be afraid to travel, come together as groups. But we say no to this. And we ask now that the Lord would up, just bring this now into the courts of heaven and cut off this attack in Jesus' name. Amen. Get this out to as many people as you can because it is a global attack. We will need to uh, get global intercession going over it. All right. God bless you.